former finance minister Dr. Ashni Singh and former Nissel head Winston Brassington are no longer required to appear at the Georgetown Magistrates Court on June 5 since Chief Magistrate Anne McKinnon's legal hands have been effectively tied in relation to continuing the Jews' misconduct charges. This is due to Justice Franklin Holder's High Court ruling this afternoon which grants a stay pending the outcome of proceedings before Acting Chief Justice Roxanne George, which begin on May 25. Singh and Brassington, who both reside overseas, are being represented by a battery of lawyers, including Senior Counsel Stanley Moore, says Conrad, and former Attorney General Anil Nanlal. A stay has been granted of the proceedings in the Magistrates Court, which are the charges against Bra Ashley Singh and Brassington until the hearing and determination of the fixed date application. The reason, reason offered by the judge was that uh, the, the integrity of the legal process has to be protected. The rationale is, obviously, that you can't have an inferior court proceeding to hear and determine charges when their validity have been challenged in the High Court. Solicitor General Kim Kites, who is representing the state's interests, maintains that the Director of Public Prosecution's case is solid, even as the applicants hold on to their belief that the charges are frivolous. They cannot establish any um, malfides that she acted you know, in bad faith or any exceptional circumstances or that the charge is bad in law. We have argued extensively that the charge is a very good charge in law. It is a common law charge. It is provided for under the laws of Ghana. And uh, we have, as, as far as we are concerned, uh, we have established that. We are relying on that and we will rely on that in the fixed date application. Friday's hearing before the acting Chief Justice seeks to have the magistrate's court matter quashed. It was on April 12 that a special organized crime unit instituted legal proceedings against the former People's Progressive Party civic government officials for what it said was misconduct in public office contrary to common law as it pertains to the sale of three plots of state land located on the east coast of Demerara. After Soku filed its charges, Nanda filed misconduct charges for PPPC members against five coalition government ministers, all of which were discontinued by the DPP. Singh and Brassington are meanwhile out on $6 million bill each. Shemuel Fanfare, The Evening News.